Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in. Must admit, another wet, very windy and dark day here in Holmes Chapel, Cheshire. So I hope you've got better weather where you are. So if you hear some noise in the background, seriously, it's so windy outside. Our garden furniture is literally whizzing its way around the garden. Thank goodness we don't have a trampoline. Otherwise, I think the neighbours would have it by now. Anyway, today I've got such a fun technique to share with you. Now, this is an old technique. It's not something I've developed. You know me. I'm not going to take credit for somebody else's. But I wouldn't know who actually came up with this idea because it is a really old technique. But it's one we haven't done for a while. And often, you know, things go in phases. Let's face it, cooking, fashion, colours, they all go in phases. Interior design. And I think crafting's the same. So I've been sort of racking my brain thinking, what haven't we done for a long time? And this is one of those techniques. And it's called kiss stamping. And it's lovely. So I've got a couple of samples here. And then I'll show you how to create it. But the main thing is you need a larger silhouette stamp and then just a smaller stamp. And we're literally going to kiss the stamps. So here I've used Rufus. And I've also teamed this up with one of the beautiful mini stamps. And this is the Stars 2. Now I also, when I looked in my collection, I thought looping silhouette would work well. And your pound, your mini stamps are fabulous for this. So this one is Leaf One Mini. And look at the detail you get. But you can also use your larger stamps. And I went for a script stamp here. Obviously, it's going to be in reverse. But I didn't actually want it that you could read it. I just like the way our beautiful Lupin looks like he's got script running through him. So it's a great, you know, if you want to sort your stamps out, good excuse. What we're going to need is a silhouette stamp and then something to kiss stamp. It could be one of the um, texture plates. We've got the lovely background stamps. What about that? And again, you'll have fun trying. I mean, I literally got three off cuts, look, because I couldn't decide which one I was going to use. And in the end, my favourite was Rufus with the stars. And I created this design just to show you, because I know if I demonstrate the kiss stamping bit like this, I know some of you are going to message me and say, yeah, that's all well and good, Jill, but what do we do with it? You've shown us half a thing. And I know what you're like. I'd be just the same. So I thought I'll show you how to do it, but then I'll just give you an idea of where you can take it. And I love this because look, look up and bless him he is. I think he fancies a tasty little butterfly. Or do you think he's thinking, how do you do that? I keep trying, I jump up, I flap my tail, nothing happens, I can't take off. Who knows? So, I'm going to start with, and this is a piece of multifarious card, and it's one of the A6 pieces. And I would recommend, even if you don't have copy paper underneath, you will need a piece of scrap paper to, to put some stamping on. And I'm going to use the stars too, so that's on my little block. And I've got Rufus on a block as well. Now, again, you can use any colour of your Versafine ink. I just thought black, the Nocturne, would show it up really well. And all you're going to do, now you could do this with silhouette trees. Seriously, it's one of those techniques. If you've got a problem with Mr Mojo or if you're just going through a rough time, and I know some of you do, you know, light just can be, oh, it can be pants at times, can't it? It can be wonderful, but sometimes we just need, you know, if you're a bit fed up, seriously, you're going to love this. And once you start, I, my little mind goes, oh, I could use this stamp, I could use this stamp. And then I have trouble deciding which one to show you. So we're going to ink him up well. Now, your Versafine Claire, don't rush. It's a slower drying ink. Now, for me, I like to do the one first because I like to sort of have a star, if I can, where almost his eye is going to be. I just think it looks better. So I'm going to put that one and I'm just going to take the lighter stamp, the smaller stamp and press it into Rufus and then take it off on my copy of paper. And you can see, look, where you've stamped. Now it's a little bit like stamping on acetate so it can move a little bit. So you almost have to be quite almost firm. 
can give it a good press and a bit of a almost a steady hand but it's like everything practice the more you do this the easier it gets and you get a feel for it and the first one you tend to rush you think oh I've got to do it quick and it can slide a bit now I think we can get one more that one there on his tail just on the end there now I could put one on the end of his nose but I'm going to leave that just little edge of one on his back there right I think that's a lovely design and I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to stamp that. And basically you're just kissing the stamps together. And the reason we take that ink off is what I found is if you end up with too much ink on here, you won't pick it up off your first stamp. That makes sense. But I'm thinking with the flowers, this would work well with, say, the wild flowers. And it's just about adding texture so again, I'm just going to, still a silhouette, so I want that ink to soak in. So I'm just going to give that, give that a couple of minutes and a good press. And then lift it up and look at that. Now I just love that. I think that is such fun. So as I say, imagine what, I mean, you could we could then put a tree and add the same pattern in the tree. You know, ugh, like I say, honestly, I know you're going to have so much fun. I'm going to add the butterfly now from Butterflies and it's a set with four on, again, silhouettes. So if you're not sure where to, to add the butterfly, use your acetate and we'll just stamp it in black. And I'm thinking he's looking sort of up there. Lovely. And then I'm just going to give that a blot. But I really hope you'll have a go at this. And if you're one of our new followers and you haven't heard of it, honestly, I know you're going to love it. So it's kiss stamping. And look, I reckon you could have even got a second generation off that. But don't worry at all because it doesn't ruin your stamp. So if I give that a wipe with a damp cloth, clean it with my inky binky look, Rufus is fine, back to normal. It doesn't ruin your stamp. There's no indentation there. All you're doing is pressing hard enough to actually just take the ink off. So no stamps are going to be hurt doing this workshop, <laughs> this little video. Right, mini hill masks now. And we'll just go for the flatter one, just to ground him. And we'll come in with olive. Any of your greens, just in the lid. And I just want to... Just want to add a little bit of ink underneath and around. That's plenty. And we'll give that a wipe with the inky binky as well. And then that can go back. It's good to be tidy. And then for my stencil, I've gone for flora because I thought I like the shape of it almost sort of drifting up. And what I'm going to do is choose just one of these. So it really just to follow that line. So I think if I go for that one. Now I'm going to be mindful not to go over the green. But I could have put my little mini hill mask back if I wanted. And we'll come in with the blue at all this time. I'm thinking. So let me just get a nice shape round the butterfly. There. Happy with that. And I'm just going to come round Rufus. And again, I'm going to build this colour up so it's very much a tickle. If it's a new ink pad, make sure you dab it off in the lid. You don't want to come in with the colour too strong. It's much better just to build it up. And if you're not sure how it's looking, remember I'm holding it at this end. Oh, that's nice. Just want it a wee bit darker. So I'm going to ink it up and just come in round Rufus here. A wee bit darker. Maybe just even here. And up to that corner. Following that line up to the butterfly. Yes, that's enough. There we go. Can you see that? 
and I think that's lovely that's just enough and again it helps to follow that your eye will follow in that direction and then what I'm going to do for my grounding, I've got one of my smaller brushes, my number three, and this is the one that I use on my dark ink, the denim blue. Now, I'm not going to ink it because there might be enough just left on here. I can ink it. Oh, look at that. I can re-ink it if I need, but I'm thinking there might just be enough. And often I do this, you know, because A, saves time, but also it saves ink. It means I don't have to use, I'm just using what's been left on my brush. And then your ink pads will last a bit longer. Lovely. So, the last little thing. On my original, I put the sentiment look up. So, let's have a look. What have we got left? I know. Let's add ponder to this one. Because I think Rufus is pondering. Is thinking, what's going on? How are you getting up there? And I'm just going to add this in this corner. And I'm using the black. Remembering the sentiment stickers, we've got black, white and vintage. But I think the black goes beautifully with that. Some white Posca. Now, again, if you don't like Posca splats, you can leave yours off at this point. I just want a couple over my butterfly. And then just round. I'm going to avoid Rufus. But to be honest, if the odd ones get on, it just goes with his nice little... He's almost send himself... <laughs> There we go. Now we'll give that a wipe. And how quick and easy was that? But how unusual. So I'm hoping you're going to enjoy this technique. If it's one that you've done a while ago, I'm hoping that it just reminds you about it because we do forget about things, don't we? But as I say, if you're one of our new followers, followers, can't speak, I'm hoping that it might just be new to you and you're going to go away and think, have a look through your stamps and have a play. And please tag me in. I can't wait to see which stamps you use and how they look. Maybe if you've got some of the new Versify and Claire ink pads, maybe use some of those. Honestly, I'm going to carry on playing now. So I'm going to leave you. But I'm going to carry on playing and see what other designs I can come up with. So you take care. Love and hugs from me. Thanks so much for popping in. Bye for now.